what are the benefits of Jesus sharing the human experience with us? Just from that verse 16. Yeah, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So, because Jesus, that courage and that boldness to draw unto the throne of grace. I believe um, part of what gives that boldness is because Jesus already went through what we went through. And knowing that he went through it, and that it is it's not just boasting, he has done it, he's able to do it, he survived. Spirit of fear. We have been given the spirit of power. You know, most times we fall into temptation, and they are, they, the temptation overwhelm us because we are full of fear when you become fearful then you know be bold to face that temptation and overcome it the devil sends forth fear first to demoralize you so that when you face this one God when they are in the middle of the temptation inside the temptation they feel like oh there's no other there's no other way out so god please help me help me but if we know that all the time we draw ourselves unto the throne of grace every day we obtain that grace we obtain that mercy that all the time we are full of it. That's why Jesus, Jesus took time to pray. But during his time of ministration, he didn't kneel down and pray for a, a, pray a long prayer. Because he, he was already, the prayer that he had prayed was carrying him through that day. And after he's done with the ministration, during the day, his disciples go to sleep. He goes to the mountain to pray. So he was charging himself. Making sure that he is not short of this grace to help him in time of need. That's why even when the Pharisees came up with schemes, he was ready and with wisdom and with calmness, he was giving the right answer. Because he was already, he had already obtained grace for help in that time. So we should not wait until we are being tempted and we are in the middle of temptation. We, that, that we are not even able to pray. So you, you just start sending orders, please, or uh, prayer orders, please pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. We need to be prayerful. We need to be prayerful all the time, drawing unto the throne of grace. All the time, we should be closer to the throne of grace. Because the closer we are, the more grace we receive to help us. In time of need. And in times of need. In time of trouble. So we have someone to look unto. We have someone who overcame. That we have to look unto. That he went through this life. He went through what we go through every day. But he came out without sin. And so people say. How do you live? How 
do you live and, and say you, 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 how do you just live without sin? How do you, there, there's no way, there's no way. Yes, we can, we, with our own knowledge, with our own, uh, with our own strength, we cannot. But Paul says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So we don't look at our failures. We don't look at what is going around us. We don't look, focus on the sin that is, that is surrounding us. But we focus on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who went through the temptations, what is common, the Bible call, tells, calls it, what is common to man, which is the temptations. We are tempted every day. But in the middle of the temptation, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in time of need. Amen. So, I want us to, to check uh, and see who Jesus is, who we think Jesus is. Who we think Jesus is. Do you just think that Jesus is a good man? As who is Jesus? Do I think Jesus is this just good man? This good guy? Or do you think Jesus is good but dead man? He was good. He did good. He healed people and he died. You know, there are people who believe that Jesus never resurrected. Although they saw what Jesus was doing. And even they saw the evidence that Jesus resurrected. But they refused. They have refused to say, to believe that he resurrected. So do you just think that Jesus was, is a good but a dead man? Do you believe that Jesus is a prophet and a teacher? And do you believe that he's a man raised from the dead? Do you believe that he's God like man? God like man, just a God with a small g? Do you believe that Jesus, do you think that God is just a God like man? And, or do you believe or do you think that he is the Son of God? Do you believe or do you think that he is the Savior of humankind? And do you believe that he is the author and the finisher of, faith, of our faith? So, let us, let us give our testimonies about Jesus Christ. What do you think Jesus is? What do you believe that Jesus is? Joshua, let's have the microphone. I want all of us to participate because we know Jesus. How do you know Jesus? Or how do you believe, how do you think about him? Who is the first one to go? Joshua, what do you think about Jesus? Who is Jesus? Uh, I think Jesus is the son of God and the savior of all mankind. Hmm. Use the microphone, please. Put the microphone close to your mouth. Because he died for all our sins. Mm. And so he saved mankind by mm. being died. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the savior of humankind. I give you a tick here. You gave me one of the answers here. Sister Christine, take it to Sister Christine. What do you think about Jesus? Who is Jesus? Jesus is the son of God. Hmm. He's also my father, hmm. my mother when I need him, my brother. My auntie, my uncle, wherever I need him, that's what he is for me. Everything. Amen. So to her, Jesus 
is her all in all. <laughs> Jesus is her, her, her family combined together. <laughs> Amen. I like that. I like that. Lovely. Who is Jesus? What do you think Jesus is? And t yet, I want to, to get the answer from you too. A father, a friend, someone that you can count on. Like if you're going through something, you can talk to him. And yeah. Just like that? And then he's also the savior of the next, like I said. Hmm. Amen. Amen. She said, Jesus is a father, is a friend that you can always talk to. You know, people think that Jesus is very far away and God is very far away that you cannot talk to him. Now, even when you pray, you have to wait for the prayer to travel that long distance to get to God. And then wait for the answer to travel that long distance to get to you. He's right here with you. It's you to be bold and talk to him. A friend... The songwriter said it's just because we don't we do not can talk to he is our friend. Grace and mercy is in abundance. But now once you've heard the word and because blessing that grace that man might stand before him as he if we have some of those, if you have it, please can you raise it so that we can Christ and they know the scriptures. They know even the, the, they know the prophet. The fellowship all the time back in high school. You are supposed now to be attracting men. <laughs> he said, I am asking, who do you know about? Who do you know Jesus as? Who, how about Jesus we don't have any and i want to throw that same question to us